Hey guys, this is SF and Signalman, the second extreme from the underlying lineage series. And my team is going to be Nick, Izanami Zero, Odin, and Arthur, because why not Arthur? Uh, if you really want like mm, okay monsters, then uh, I, I was searching for something better, but something less OP, I guess, because I'm pretty sure people would just bring Arthur. I want to like show you guys some other monsters. But the only best, the only great monster that was in that friend list was uh, Arthur there. And the two OPs in this team is uh, Izanami Zero and Arthur. Arthur, of course, does really good work with these as magic clearing. And there are warps, but you don't have to worry about warps that much. Technically, you can use those warps to your advantage, which I will show you with Izanami Zero. So basically, uh, you just go into the warp and then the warp will shoot you out the direction you go in. So go out, then you pop out, uh, pop right near the signal man and then you know get a pinch and do some really serious damage. So that's how you use those warps. They're like just like that. And you're basically in pinch range onto him. So even if you don't have a no warp monster, like a no guided bear, no no warp monster, then you are totally fine with just uh, using those warps and dealing damage that way. So let's finish out Signal Man by pinching. There we go. And Islam Zero is upon the Slayer M, and it's on the space ability, so. His Meteor Destruction does double that damage to I think 400k, around 400k, which is pretty crazy. You know, if he's left alone, then boom, dead. Okay, second stage, and that was kind of close because I wanted to keep that warp guy alive so that you can just use the warps to get the pinches. And first try of the pinch, completely failed. But that's how you get the pinch if you're not on the bottom side of the of the block line. Second try, nope. That's even sadder. Arthur, third try, third try, third time's the charm. Um, yeah, I've, you know, there's lately been a lot of pinching things, and then all the hitboxes are relatively random as well, so. I was having a hard time getting the right pinch or uh, trying to get the best angle. I've been doing too much pinching, especially with Jabberwock and JP. Uh, that dungeon is a pinching nightmare. And random total stage. Okay, next is boss. Boss has four bars instead of three, and he's relatively. Basically what I did on the first stage is if you're not near signal man then use the warps to get up there to get into those tight spots. I'm going to just clear off mobs for now. Whoop, went into the warp, but that's fine. And Odin is in the best area, so I can just do a pinch like that. Next is Iza. Try to get out, and I did get out, but I didn't clear off the smudger. Actually, I did. Okay, good. Now, you don't have to use the warps. You can always use the blocks. Uh, uh, you can always go from the outside in instead of going inner. And that's it for the first bar. Just going to clear off that little warp guy. There we go. Okay. Second bar introduces something new, and that is the red shield. Now, red shield, if it turns, it has a cooldown, if it turns to zero, then a signal man will get enraged, go into the pissed off mode. And that's a nice shot off using the warp. We'll get pissed off, and then, you know, he, de he deals more damage and stuff like that. So you definitely don't want to be uh, on the map too long and I think if you destroy that shield as well he'll be in range so the best way is to just finish it off before the shield turns to zero 
which Izanami Zero is going to do. Boom. Now, if you don't have Izanami Zero, then there's not many Slayers out there, uh, except for Genghis Kong, that is a Paladin Slayer and a No Gravity Barrier. You don't really need a Paladin Slayer to uh, deal with this map, deal with this dungeon, because as pitching doesn't require that much in terms of damage or slayers. As long as you get a good pinch, then you're most likely get enough damage to wipe the boss down. And trying to get to where the signal man is, that critical was not that critical in terms of <laughs> the actual shot. And trying again. Now that's a better shot. Now I gotta start clearing mobs because I basically neglected, neglected to actually do mob clearing, which is never a good thing. Okay, it's getting a little sketchy, so I'm going to use Nicholas's strike shot just to get, uh, just get the mob clearing down, and I actually got Signal Man down as well. All good, and I do have enough damage with Odin, Arthur, and Izanami Zero to finish off the last bar, so you can always use it prematurely, like not on the last stage. Okay, last bar, and Izanami Zero is in a relatively good spot, and just trying to get through the middle of the shield and the boss and didn't do anything, which is sad. Next is Arthur, and I'm gonna shoot it towards that attacking mech bird. Although it doesn't do the most damage to Signal Man, it does save me some hit points that way because uh, all I'm gonna be doing is just uh, using my strike shots and stuff. Okay. See? <laughs> okay, last but not least, Odin, and I'm going to use the warp for the weak spot. Boom. So. It's all about pinching, so you don't really have to worry about speed that much. So even Odin does okay in there. And for people that have just started Mamon, if you haven't Mamon, then even the evolution form is good enough with the strike shot. Uh, I'm pretty sure like most people will go for Ascended, that's the better form. But if you don't have the materials to get to the Ascended Mamon, then Evolved Mamon also works. And he has a shorter cooldown as well. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.